Hello, WDB community. My name is Dennis, and this is my sprint update. So, this week's sprint has been a bit different in the sense that most of us are, are working from home uh, because of the circumstances, because of the situation that's, that's going on around the world, and uh, we've been forced to change uh, the way we normally do our work. So, it's been a bit challenging, but uh, I personally have managed, have managed to find a way of balancing uh, what's going on and also managing to work from home with our, our home office setup. So this sprint, one of the features I focused on was, um, was the to-do list. So the to-do list initially didn't have uh, a due date and the goal of this task was to add a due date to a to-do item. So if it, uh, you need to prioritize or you want to plan on how you're going to uh, uh, finish your to-do items, you would have to uh, put a due date. So as you can see here, there's a due date uh, showing uh, when your task is supposed to be done. And then if it does not have a due date, you're able to add uh, a due date with this edit icon here. So once you click here, it will display this model and uh, you can use a date picker to choose the date. So for example, it's the 60th. And then it shows 68 when you save, it's supposed to update uh, the to-do item. So this was the goal for this task and uh, that's pretty much it. So the next feature or next, next task I had was to redesign the showroom logs and uh, make it look better. So the showroom uh, has uh, logs that record every entry in the showroom. So this screen is basically just shows you all the users that have come, the reason for their coming to the showroom, the time, the home address, and then just basically details about uh, people visiting the showroom. So as you can see here, you have your, it shows you the number of uh, entries that you have on the page. So you have uh, a default of 30 uh, records per page. So right now the only two is the test environment. And uh, these two icons here are for previous and next. So the other uh, task I worked on was uh, the user list. So the user list as well uh, had to be changed a bit to accommodate uh, the requirements that, that, that were given. So this list here now has uh, previous and next. So what this does is you have uh, a list of users here and this is for basically just pagination the page. So when you press next, it takes you to the next page, showing you the amount of users, the number of users that are on, on, on that page. Let's say you have uh, 30 users per page. So the first page you have 30 users and the next page you have 30 users. Continue up until you reach the number that you want. So you are able now to to go to the next page from you. So that was the goal of my sprint. And thank you very much. See you next sprint.